Okay, it's fixed at i is equal to 4%, okay, so 0, 0.0, let's actually let's say 5%, 0 0.05, okay, okay, well then the cost of this borrowing is going to be 20,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the power of how many years were taken to repay it, which is, it's over a four year period, okay. So that's what we need to pay the bank back. And actually, if I just do that calculation there, okay, just really quickly, okay, what we need to really, what we need to repay the bank back is twenty thousand uh, multiplied by uh, one plus zero point zero five is one point zero five, which needs to be raised to the power of four. So when I raise that to the power of four, actually, oh, that's going to give me an error, I think here. It is, yeah. Let me do that again. It's twenty thousand euros, okay, times. 1.05 raised to the power of 4, okay? Uh, so what I'm actually going to have to repay back is 24,310 euros, okay? So this is actually the same as 24,310 euros. In other words, if I borrow 20,000 euros from the bank, okay, over the course of the mortgage, okay, okay what I'm going to have to repay the bank is 24,310 euros, okay? That's important. Now, from a mortgage perspective, okay, what we want to balance out is the cost of borrowing, okay, needs to balance out with the cost of repayments, okay. So we need to make sure that all of our repayments, okay, uh, sum up or add up to be twenty four thousand three hundred and ten euros, okay. Now, I don't know what the repayments should be to cover this over this particular period of time, but let's just take a naive approach. Let's say naive, okay. Okay. And let's say we start paying 4,000 euros, or let's say 5,000 euros uh, each year, at the end of each year. So, I initially borrow, I initially borrow 20,000 euros at time zero, okay? I don't make any repayments when I make the borrowing, okay? When I take the borrowing out, okay? Because I haven't had the money out at, at, for any amount of time. I only start my payments after I've had the money out for a period of time. So, after one year has elapsed, I'm going to repay 5,000 euros. 5,000 euros. After two years has elapsed, I'm going to repay another 5,000 euros. After three years has elapsed, I'm going to pay another 5,000 euros. After four years has elapsed, I'm going to pay another 5,000 euros. Okay? Now, let's think about it like this. When I borrowed the money off the bank account, from the bank, okay, at the end of the period, over the total period, I need to pay back 24,310. And they charged me an interest, okay, an interest rate with respect to the cost of that borrowing. Okay. But look at the repayments schedule. Okay. If you think about it, when I give the bank 5,000 euros okay, at time one, okay, well, this is going to sit in a bank account. Okay. This is going to sit in the bank account for one, two, three years. Okay. So that's going to sit in the bank account for three years. Okay. So actually, why, do, why are the, the bank should pay me some interest for this particular savings, let's say? Okay. When I pay 5,000 euros here, okay, uh, that's going to sit in the bank account for one, for two years. So the bank actually owes me two years of interest payments for that. Okay, And when I make this 5,000 euro payment here, it's going to sit in the bank account for one year. Okay, So they owe me one year's repayment. And when I make my last payment, they owe me zero years interest Yeah, with respect to that particular payment. And this is the way this bank account works, okay, is that there's a cost associated with borrowing based off an interest rate. The bank charges you for borrowing a certain amount, okay, based off one particular interest rate. But when you make your schedule of repayments, okay, well, the bank should be paying you interest for those particular repayments. And that's what this second part of the formula represents, okay? So let's just keep this in mind, okay? So actually, the total, the total summation of my repayments, okay, would be, okay, depending on what the interest rate is, let's assume it's still at 4 or 5%, would be, well, I should be getting back 5,000, at the end of this schedule, the summation of it, okay, okay, what should be in my repayments part of my account should be the first 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the power of 3, because it's been compounded for 3 years, plus 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the power of 2, because it's compounded for 2 years, okay? Plus 5,000 raised to the power, times 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the power of 1, because it's compounded for 1 year, plus the final 5,000 payment, which is 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the power of 0. There's no years of compounding, yeah? 
And that's the summation of this account. And that's what we're going to try to derive here. Okay? So I think the left-hand side of the formula, sorry, not the left-hand, the right-hand side and the first term is straightforward enough. The cost of borrowing is a simple uh, compound interest calculation. Okay? But let's have a look at, I suppose, let's have a look at